All right, what's going on guys and welcome back. So it's that time again, applications for the next Monster Taming Direct are now live. You can check out the Google Doc if you want to apply. In this video, we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna sort of discuss, we're gonna talk about the last Monster Taming Direct and stuff like that. Um, there are some nuances here, so definitely uh, make sure you stay tuned, especially if you are someone who is looking to participate. Now, that being said, for the next Direct, again, we're probably gonna do around Labor Day just like we did with this direct i'm trying to give people as much um time as possible because i want i i basically don't want anybody to say they didn't have enough time to prepare you have 11 months basically <laughs> to prepare for this direct so on that front you know it, it's entirely in your court if you want to join we had a lot of applications last time around uh, we had a great presentation the last direct as of the time i'm recording this is sitting at about 39 and a half thousand views and going so I, I think it'll probably be over 40 by the time this is out so if you want to get your game in front of a dedicated audience of people because this isn't the same as when some random uh, poketuber uploads a video about like a game and it gets like a hundred thousand views like th this is specifically monster taming fans a lot of pokemon fans might not be interested in non-pokemon games whereas these are people who are you know more willing to buy and wishlist your game. So these aren't just 40,000 people watching. These are 40,000 targeted people watching. But anyway, if you want to get your um, content in front of, you know, a really dedicated monster taming community, this is definitely going to be the event. Uh, and we're going to go through exactly what is needed to apply, what the process is, and stuff like that. And also, potentially, we're going to talk about, again, this is potentially probably not going to happen just because of how busy things are going to be moving forward, but it could happen. We may or may not be doing a mini direct at the end of this year if the game devs um, are, are into it, if we have big news, it, it, stuff like that. Like a mini direct with Dragon Quest Monsters coming out in December would only be happening just based on how busy I'm going to be if like we had some crazy news that people wanted to you know share and that that would be basically like a monster taming direct but like condensed into like a 15 20 minute uh showcase with instead of 30 games something like you know 7 to 10 but anyways we're, we're gonna go through this application process it's very simple uh and and also i'm gonna mention some of the stuff that happened with the last application process that uh, i'm gonna make clear here so we don't have uh repeats of uh those sort of mistakes but Again, I, I'm going to read it out for you guys. So, like, literally, if you submit and don't read it yourself, there's no excuse. I'm reading it for you. So, 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 so make sure to just, just listen. Okay. So, okay. Please read before you fill out. Thank you for applying to the 2024 Monster Taming Direct presentation. Please fill, fill out the questions below in order to uh, be entered for approval. Upon review, we will contact you via your preferred method as outlined in the contact uh, info field below. Please make sure to share your details in that field or we can't contact you. When you apply, Google Forms always makes you apply with a specific um, with a specific email, but we don't actually see that. That's just how Google Forms works, right? If you just put email in your preferred contact method, we don't know what email. I, I had to hunt people down. It was very difficult uh, in some cases. E even people who put Discord weren't actually in my discord so finding them i had to had to add them by searching for them it was very hard to get in contact with some people so please make sure you're making it as easy as possible to contact you for me the easiest way would be either through twitter dms and make sure your dms are open or through discord if you're in my discord so i can actually add you and make sure you give me your username because there were a couple applications that we just weren't able to um pursue because people weren't actually sharing they, they would just put email or discord but they wouldn't actually share what their discord name was or what their email address was so make sure you're doing that so uh below that please note that applications will be due via dm or email upon us contacting you so we will get back to you if we don't buy uh the submission date or, or honestly yeah if we don't within a couple of days for some reason Maybe um, you thought you filled something out a certain way. We couldn't find it, whatever. Feel free to contact me via Discord. Just say, hey, Ed, I put an application in. Um, I haven't heard back from you. You know, the submission deadline is coming up. Like, what's what's going on? And then, and then, you know, maybe there's confusion or something. 
So so feel free to DM me on that front. Like, like I don't want people flooding my DMs just saying, you know, when's mobile Coromon coming out? But, you know, if it's something like that, I don't mind you messaging me. Um, so applications will be due by August 1st. That's just filling out the form that's not actually submitting. The actual submissions themselves will be due on August 15th. Again, th that's a two-week period, but you realistically have months to put in your application and prepare a submission if you want. Um, this next section is extremely important. Please only submit a form to confirm your desired appearance at the Direct. This form's meant to gauge the amount of participants for the purposes of promotional material and planning. Canceling applications at the last minute can uh, cause disarray and potentially cause the Direct to be delayed altogether. So it's imperative that you only apply if you're 100% sure you want to participate. And the reason I put this paragraph in here is we have had a lot of, and I'm just gonna say it, wishy-washy developers who have said, yes, I'm gonna be there 100%. Only two, and this has happened multiple times, because remember, we were trying to put a direct together in April as well, only to back out at the last second and be like, oh, sorry, never mind, uh, I, I can't do it. Uh, usually, no specific reason, it's just kind of like they forgot. Uh, in some cases, <laughs> I have had people forget. Um, or or just like, you know, I, I, I understand things happen, and we're not going to like, you know, chop your heads off if you have to cancel due to an unforeseen circumstance. But don't just confirm your application just to like hold yourself a spot. Because at the end of the day, the direct will run based on like the best submissions, not who submitted first. You submit earlier, you do, I guess, technically have a better chance just because like we'll remember yours more. But I, I mean, it's, it's essentially just based on which ones we think are the best and will fit for the direct. So just make sure you're sure you want to come before you actually you know, uh, make a form because it, it, it's just extra work for us to have to hound and chase people down if they're not actually serious about coming. Uh, next up, we have requirements for the submissions, which will be outlined uh, via direct contact with you. So, so we'll give you guys further requirements. If you have any questions and stuff, you can contact me directly, but these are the general requirements. So we want something new, uh, either exclusive trailers, teasers, reveals, showcases, guides, etc. Uh, they can be so. This is a big part because people were wondering. The second it goes live on the direct, feel free to post it on your own social media pages. It doesn't have to be exclusive to the direct forever. I would appreciate if you just said it was like the Monster Taming Direct trailer or something. Like that'd be cool. You don't have to, obviously. But that it would be cool if you did, just because it would help promote the event too. But at the end of the day, like that's your footage. That's that's it's yours. You don't have to. Uh, hold it in the direct forever. You can post it on your own social media. Plenty of devs have done that. Totally fine. We're looking for about three minutes max in length. Depending on the submission, we may push it further. I think two to three minutes is like the best for like a trailer. And then 30 seconds is good for like a, a, a teaser like we saw with the Moonstone Island monster teaser and stuff like that. Um, 1080p minimum recommended. Uh, Google Drive a download link preferred when your submission is ready. It just makes it easier. If I could just download it directly from Google Drive or Dropbox, uh, please have your presentation edited and ready for showcase. I, I don't want you guys to send me just a dumpster full of files. Um, in some cases during the first direct, I was cool with it, but with how many submissions we've been getting now, it, it makes more sense not to do that. Uh, it just makes sense like it's ready to go. Uh, do not use copyrighted music that will result in a claim on the direct. Make sure the music's your own. Make sure that you know who has the rights. Make sure it's not something that um, you have to get like special access to on YouTube because if your submission has music that's copyrighted, it won't be in the direct because we're not dealing with copyright claim issues. Um, and then uh, please check out the previous Monster Taming Directs and follow up video for more information. And then I have links to the directs. Very, very straightforward. Just it gives you an idea of what you should be looking uh, out for with your own submissions. Now, the questions are really simple. Name of your game, name of your game. Game studio, you know, if applicable. Uh, same with publisher. Uh, th like, th th that stuff's pretty simple. Development status. We basically just want to get an idea for where it's at. Um, is it an alpha? Is it working towards an alpha? Is it at a beta? Is it working towards a beta early access, etc.? cetera? Um, <clears throat> this will potentially affect whether or not it gets accepted. Not necessarily like, oh, if it's an alpha, we're not going to accept it. Just more so like we're going to be taking a look at it, seeing if it's like, you know, something we think is ready because we have got some undercooked submissions 
Um, and we want to just make sure everything is like, you know, up, uh, up to like, you know, the kind of bar that's been set by the previous directs. Um, link to social media pages, very important, especially if you want me to uh, contact you on one of them, right? Like if you put Twitter under preferred contact method, well, you better be linking that Twitter here because otherwise I have no idea, right? Um, yeah, if you have social media, link it. We want to actually be able to do more research on your game. Uh, preferred contact method, we already, we already spoke about at, at length. Other details, and then the, at the bottom we have something, but I do want to say something really quick. No NFT games. If you're an NFT dev, I don't have anything against you personally, but I don't want any NFT games at the direct. I, I don't want to be supporting NFT games, especially with all of the bullshit that's come along with them. Every NFT game that we showcased on the channel, whether or not we even knew they were NFT games back when I didn't even know anything about NFTs, all of them are either under permanent hiatus or they did something sketchy. I'm just, I'm not into it. I don't want to deal with the drama. We're gamers. I, I'm not an investor. I, I don't want to be investing when I'm playing video games, okay? And, and, and usually a bad investment at that. So no NFT games. Um, we're, we're not supporting any of that crypto stuff. Uh, I, I Again, it, this isn't like some some social activism statement. I, I don't like like people have like, you know, ethical and environmental issues. I, I'm not even talking about that. I just don't want to have those types of games at the direct because most of those games aren't focused on being games they're focused on you know their investors and and, and the crypto aspects we, we don't want any of that and then finally and this again we talked about this a little bit would you be interested in participating in an upcoming mini direct in december uh, this event would be about 20 to 30 minutes in length and be formatted similarly to the standard monster tamer direct but instead it's just shorter um and, and essentially the only way I would be doing something like this, because we've already discussed and there have been a couple devs that are interested, these would have to be like major, like major, like we're already going to be super busy by the end of the year. A direct is already a lot of work to put together. If we're going to do a mini direct, it would be 100% like the devs would have, I'm not hounding people for something like this. Like this would 100% have to be like. I have devs of games that are having like massive updates or, or, you know, like, like just, just big game studios that really want to like push something forward. This is how I would put this together. Like if Pal World came up to me and said they had an exclusive trailer and then, and then like Aethermancer had something crazy and then like, like Lumintail had something crazy, like, like, like crazy updates that we haven't seen before. Uh, and I would like, unless, unless the update something crazy as well. Um, I, I would like to try to make it mostly devs that weren't present in the last Monster Taming Direct. This would kind of give them a chance, N not all, but most, this would give them a chance to um, showcase something that maybe they didn't have enough time for. But the mini Direct, probably not happening. I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, so just keep that in mind. I if, you're in if we get enough people interested... Um, definitely we might go forward with it. You can leave any information you have about the mini direct in this other details section and we can go from there and uh, I'll keep you guys updated either way, but the video has gone on long enough. Applications are ready to go. Make sure you fill them out. Make sure you're following the guidelines. Read it over again if you have to. You can rewatch this video if you have to. You can ask me any questions if you need to. And uh, yeah, 2024 Labor Day weekend probably. We're going to be doing uh, Monster Taming Direct 2024. Get ready, get hyped, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.